Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad you guys tuned in for my kids edition stock and stuffer ideas. Keep in mind that I have a boy so all the stock and stuff that I've already bought is kind of more boy related. That basically just means that it has boy characters on it instead of girl characters. Most of these kids stock and stuffers were a dollar or under and um I think my cap was like $5. I don't even know if I have anything that's $5. <laughs> so depending on what you're looking for, kids are super easy when it comes to stocking stuffers because you just have a, so many options and so many varying items. And kids usually like everything most of the time. They're not super picky as where adults will be like, yeah, that's great, and then they won't use it. Kids will actually like everything and most of the time will eventually use something. So let's go ahead and get started with these ideas and I'll tell you guys what I'm putting in my scent stocking this year. All right, first thing, I have no idea how this happened. I got a bunch of pencils, a bunch of pencils. I don't know how this happened. I ended up getting Christmas pencils on Black Friday, I'm pretty sure. These were 98 cents a pack. Then I got these at the dollar store, and so they were a dollar. I think pencils are always a great idea because kids are always gonna need them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're Christmas. It doesn't matter what they are. They're gonna use them, they're gonna need them. The other thing that I thought would be really ingenious is to get these toppers. I don't know what the deal is, but he goes through erasers like that. He can have the longest pencil and the eraser is gone. So these toppers are really, really good idea. So if you're looking for a good idea when you buy a pack of pencils, buy the toppers to go with it. This next thing I thought was an ingenious idea. I actually saw it in the dollar bins at Michael's. I was just there kind of looking, perusing, and this was months ago, maybe four months ago. It was actually in the summer. So, and I found these playing cards. I found Old Maid and Crazy Eights. Now, I'm pretty sure that we have these cards in my house, and it wasn't the fact of the playing cards that I really liked. The, what I really liked about them is they came in this really hard case. And what happens if you buy the cards from the dollar store is that they go to open the case of cards and they rip it. Then you lose cards because you're trying to shove them back in. Always lose cards, they're always all over. As much as I've tried to keep them together, I know that I'm not doing a good job. So these being in the little cases, I thought were ingenious. I was like, how come I never knew this before? These were a dollar in the dollar bins at Michael's. Michael's also had these little melts and you put the little beads together, melt it, I wanna say with an iron, and it makes a little character. I remember they had these when I was a kid and that I always wanted one and I don't know why I never asked for one or never got one. I don't, I think I just never said what I wanted and so my mom, she used to have the hardest time shopping and I'd be like, oh, well, you know, I knew there was stuff I wanted but I never said anything. But I thought this was so cute, it was a dollar I thought for a dollar I wanted to try it out and see if it worked. The other thing I got at Michael's in the summer was I got this little book. It's a little devotional book for boys and they had girl ones. This one is kind of more geared like construction. It has little construction cars and stuff. They're three minute devotionals. Even if they do this and they do half the book, I think it's a really good gift. I know sometimes it's hard and parents, it's hard to do these with your kids and I like the idea that these are three minutes, they're one little page, you can look at it, read it, pray, and it's okay, it's time to go to bed. And so when they're actually going to sleep, they have a little bit of what you just talked about in their mind. And so I think these little devotional books are perfect. I wanna say this was three or four dollars. It wasn't crazy, but it wasn't cheap. But it is really good quality. I think that it's a really good gift. So even if you're doing a stocking for somebody else's child and you wanna do a bunch of in more inexpensive stuff, something like this would be a good, more expensive gift along with a lot of dollar stuff. These next few things I got at Dollar General. If you don't have a Dollar General in your area, it's kind of a cheaper store, kind of like Dollar Tree, but they have just a multitude of things. I picked up this mini sticker activity book, and you can see I paid a dollar for it. I picked up this 
It's a micro machine little Star Wars flying card and I paid $3 for it. And I also got this little puzzle. It is a 50 piece little puzzle, but the thing I liked about it is my son, he does a lot of harder puzzles than this. I think he's up to like around 300 pieces right now. I like the fact that this was in a little tin. And so, and it was small and compact and it all went back into the tin. So often you buy puzzles in a box they're hard to store, especially, I think the ones you get at the Dollar Tree are really good. I think they're really good gifts, but they're hard to store and do later because once you cut those boxes, they just never go back to the way they should be. So I liked the fact that this was in a tin. The other funny things I found today is I found these brain teaser games at the Dollar Tree. So I paid a dollar for each one of these. My child is super analytical, logical, almost bordering on Spockish, I guess you could say. And so he will love these. Also, they have Jenga games there and they have smaller Jenga games there. And those are really good stocking stuffers. They usually have the smaller ones year round, but I did see the larger one when I was there this evening. So those are both really good ideas as well. Onto the candy. You know it cannot be a stocking without candy. Just kind of the way it goes in my house. If you are better than me and you have found a way around this, oh, I applaud you so much. In my house, they they kind of expect a little bit of candy in the stocking. So I just got a few things this year. Didn't fill the whole thing with candy at all. My son randomly is very into gum. He just had his first piece of gum like a month ago and he's eight. I have no idea why I've never given him a piece of gum. I don't know, but he is all obsessed with peppermint gum. So I got him these peppermint different kinds to try. And I think he's gonna be actually really excited about these. So older kids and adults, I think gum is an amazing idea. But I also got him a Snickers. I got this on a buy one, get one free. And I got one for my husband too, because they both love Snickers. So if there's a particular candy bar and you don't wanna put a lot of candy in a stocking, I would say do a bunch of regular stuff and maybe one candy bar and leave it alone. And just do like a good full size candy bar so they feel like they got that candy. These little fun guys I found at Walmart on Black Friday. These are Reese's Pieces that look kind of like a reindeer. And if you guys have seen during Easter time, they have the ones that look like carrots. And this one was a Santa Claus one. These are Hershey's, so these are like M&M's. And I thought these were really cute. I always give him the carrot ones on Easter, so I was like, oh, I better get these for Christmas. My son has another obsession and favorite. He loves Skittles, so I got him this holiday mix of Skittles. It's a kind of like the movie theater box, and it was only a dollar. It's year round a dollar, and this is kind of his go-to snack. The great thing is, the Skittles that are in here are maybe half the box. So it really looks great from the outside, but it doesn't have a whole lot. It has the same amount as if you would buy the regular ones from the checkout stand, but this looks like they're getting a lot of candy when they're not. So I kind of like the idea of it. And last but not least, I picked up these ring pops from Dollar Tree. I actually thought this was a really good idea. They were, I think there's four in this pack, and so if you have multiple children, buying things like this uh, for a dollar, but being able to open it and separate it, I think is an awesome idea. With kids and stockings, you can do so much. And thankfully, places like the Dollar Tree and Walmart give you the ability to do things on a lower scale and a lower budget. There are so many ideas for little kids, and these are just a few of them. When doing a stocking, I would really think about the fact of doing a little bit of practical and a little bit of fun. Kind of mix it together and have fun with it. If you are the fun aunt or it's not your child, then definitely like load up on the candy and do the fun stuff because we expect that from you know the family but putting like one really nice thing in a stocking with a bunch of dollar fun stuff is kind of the best way to go with stockings the other fun thing is I got my son he 
loves these boxer briefs that have the little bands up top and they're like a stretchier material instead of a cotton. And he loves the little prints on them. And these I'm gonna fold up and shove in his stocking and he he's gonna think they're super fun. Later on in life, I'm sure he will see this video and think, oh my gosh, mom, why did you show this? But I think it's a really good idea. These run for, I wanna say about $6 at Walmart. So they're a little bit pricey for two pairs, but if you're looking for a good gift idea, kids can always use underwear and especially fun ones that maybe their parents wouldn't buy because they're not as practical. Who didn't have fun underwear when they were a kid? Another thing that I got my son is I got this on Black Friday. This was in the front part of the Christmas stuff as you walk into Walmart. So not the stuff out by the garden section where all the Christmas trees are. This was actually in the front stuff. And this has stencils, stickers, and mechanical pencils. And it was a whole big pack. And if you are looking for multiple children, stuff like this that you can break apart. There's six of each in here. Things like this that you can buy and break apart are really fun like that. And you can find a lot of cute stuff in that front section at Walmart. I hope I've given you guys some really fun, different stocking stuffer ideas. The biggest thing with stockings is just to have fun with it and be true to who you are. So if you are that fun aunt and uncle, put fun stuff in the stocking and put candy because you're that fun aunt and uncle. If it's coming from mom and dad, do you know some practical stuff and some really fun things that you know your kids are gonna be like, oh, this is so great. Like gum, my kid's gonna think that's wonderful and it's easy. So find those little things that your children like. I hope these are some fun ideas and I loved showing you guys what I'm putting in my child's stocking this Christmas, 2017. I think it's gonna be a really fun Christmas and I like the balance that I have of stuff versus candy. I know I don't have a lot of girly things, but I think some of this is so transferable. And really, just look around the Dollar Tree, look around Walmart, and you can find really cute girl stuff as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time that I upload a video. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video.